जय हिंद टू ऑल बेसिकली टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अ टॉपिक पीपल ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इन कंपेयर डिजाइन बेसिकली वेन एवर बी विल मूव टुवर्ड्स द पीपल ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इट इज ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक्स दैट कैन डायरेक्टली अप्लाइड ऑन द मशीन कोड हेंस इट इज नॉन एज द मशीन डिपेंडेंट ऑप्टिमाइजेशन बेसिकली कोड ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स मशीन इंडिपेंडेंट ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एंड मशीन dependent optimization when we will perform the optimization of the uh, on the intermediate code then it is called machine independent optimization when we perform the optimization on the assembly code or you can say uh, on the machine code then this is called the machine dependent optimization so people optimization is basically machine dependent optimization <coughs> this is a very simple and effective technique for basically improve the target code in people optimization uh, we will examining the code by sliding window over the target instructions that sliding window is called the people and replace instruction sequence that comes under that sliding window uh, <coughs> by a shorter or faster sequence of instructions then such type of optimization is called people optimization basically to take the <coughs> greater advantage of the people optimization we will uh, perform so many passes repeated passes will be uh, done over the target code because sometimes it may happens uh, uh, a redundant uh, <coughs> or you can say dead code will also be there uh, after improving the code for example suppose <coughs> i have written in this manner uh, let uh, i have written go to l1 after that there is a sequence of instructions after that i have written l1 is equals to uh, go to l2 after that something instructions uh, l2 is equals to go to l3 uh, after that so many instructions l3 will be move a r not the move the value of r not into a so you can see uh, <coughs> whenever uh, we will move from th this position it will tells you go to l1 and l1 tells you go to l2 and l2 tells you go to l3 after that uh, this statement get executed so instead of using so many jumps you will write uh, simply write down l3 here l3 here l3 here right so go to l3 will execute this particular code <coughs> right so these particular codes will be dead code right or not right these particular codes will be redundant code so in the first pass you will simply replace the labels by l3 and in the second pass you have to replace these unnecessary codes you have to eliminate these unnecessary codes from the program so basically these are the some important aspects regarding the people optimization basically it is applied to the source code after it has been converted to the target code people optimization comes under the machine dependent optimization machine dependent optimization occur after the target code has been generated and transform to the uh, fit into the target machine architecture so it makes use of the cpu registers may make use of the absolute memory references rather than the uh, relative memory references another uh, people or optimization aspect is it is applied uh, to a uh, small pieces of code repeatedly so the major objective of the people optimizations are <coughs> improve the performance of the code reduce the memory footprints and reduce the size of the code basically these are the following techniques uh, that were uh, that are involved in the people optimization first one is the redundant instructions elimination second one is the removal of the unreachable code third one is the flow of uh, control optimization fourth one is the algebraic simplifications and fifth one is the machine idioms so redundant instructions elimination uh, <coughs> uh basically you have to remove the redundant operations from the <coughs> target code 
So, in this particular technique, uh, you have to remove the uh, uh, instructions that uh, contain the redundant information. For example, I have written in this manner A is equal to B and B is equal to A. So, what happens? Uh, I have written B is equal to A and after that I have written uh, A is equal to B. Suppose uh, if I will provide you the memory implementation of this, let us B will contain 5. So, what happens by the first instructions get executed, this 5 value copied into the memory of A. So, this will be the 5. What happens by the second instructions, this 5 value get copied uh, into B. So, what happens, This is, is this instructions necessary? Basically, this uh, particular instructions is already uh, uh, hold the value, miss this particular B already hold the value of A. So, due to that, this particular instructions is not required. So, this particular instructions is called the redundant instructions. So, we have to eliminate it, right. For example, uh, basically, this is a example, a higher level example, means uh, so in assembly code or a machine code because the the people optimization is applied on the target machine code or you can say assembly code so i have take this particular example in this manner i have written move r not a and move a r not what happens basically r not is a register a is a variable right a is a variable Suppose A contain a value 5, so you have to come uh, move, means you have to transfer this value to R0, copy this value to R0. So, what happens? This value get copied here. According to the second instructions, what happens? You have to transfer the value from R0 to A, meaning is that. So, which uh, what happens? this particular transfer of the information because already a already have a value 5 so there is a no need of this particular instructions right there is no need of a particular instructions therefore uh, the optimized code corresponding to this is this move r not a because there is no need to write down this particular things let's <coughs> source code is written in this manner a is equals to b c b plus c after that uh, i have written d is equals to a plus e so, the corresponding uh, assembly code will be this one. What, have, uh, what this particular code says? You have to perform addition of B and C and write the value into A. After that, you have to add E with A and store the value into D. So, firstly, what, what happens? You have to move the value <coughs> of B into R0. So, this is in this manner, right? Okay, this is correction. So, move B into R0. Basically, this is a target register that will hold the value of the answer, right or not right? So, move the value of B into R0. After that, move the value of if you not want to move the value, then you have to perform the addition with B, uh, addition of B with C. So, where is the value of B? It is in R0, right? So, you have to perform add R0 plus <coughs> C and target value is stored now in R0. Once again, what happens? You have to transfer this value to A. So, move R0 into A, right? What happens by the next instructions? You have to <coughs> perform the addition with E, right? So, firstly, you have to move the value of A into R0. After that, perform the addition of R0 with E, right? And after that, you have to perform the transfer of the value from R0 to D, right or not right? So, what happens uh, in this particular code? Where is the redundancy? Basically, you can see you have a R0, you have a variable R0, Firstly, you have to transfer the value of R0 to A, R0 to A. Suppose 10 is inside the R0. 
so this value get copied here in the next instructions you can see here for these uh, two instructions a is transferred to r naught so this 10 value get transferred to r naught that is already occupied by the r naught so due to that these two instructions are redundant inside this particular code so you have to remove any one so you have to remove the second one <coughs> because first one uh, will contain the computed value so such type of uh, <coughs> uh, optimization is called uh, redundant instructions eliminations uh, second uh, type of technique uh, uh, for the people optimization is removal of the unreachable code so unreachable codes are uh, those codes which get never executed so remove those instructions which are unreachable or you can say that never get executed for example i have written here <coughs> I have uh, take a source code program i is equal to 0 if i is equal to 1 sum is equal to 0 what happens you can see you have assigned a value 0 to i after that you have compared this value with 1 so this particular i never becomes 1 right or not right never becomes 1 so the particular this code never get executed right or not right so the optimized code corresponding to this is i is equal to 0 right or not right because th this particular code never get executed so eliminate this particular code or remove this particular code from the program because uh, according to the optimization this is not necessary second thing you have to see here i have written another function add integer uh, integer add integer a and b there is a two variable a and b you have <coughs> take inside this function and perform the addition after that you have performed the return and you have write down the printf c <coughs> percentage d c Be uh, <coughs> what happens this program get executed uh, if this function is called by the main program then uh, this function get executed you will come from this particular point after that uh, perform the addition it will return the command to the main program to the main program right or not right this particular statement print type percentage d c uh, comma c never get executed because it always perform the addition and return to the main means return the command to the main function or to the function to whom it is called so that's why this print f never get executed so you have to <coughs> remove it because it is a redundant instructions right now i will move towards here <coughs> because it is working on the assembly code you can see i have written uh, move r not and 100 basically in uh, assembly language hash is put it down uh, before a constant number right so you have to assign 100 value to r not right after that bra branching to l1 after that you have written multiply mul multiply r1 and r0 after that you will perform addition to whom you will perform the addition r1 and 100 right because this is a constant value so the value inside the r1 uh, will added with 100 after that you have written the label l1 move r0 to r1 right so you have to place you have to transfer the value of r0 to the r2 <coughs> in, by this instructions so you can see what happens uh, you can trace this so it will tells you move r0 so let's this is r0 registers value is transferred is 100 so it will be the 100 right constant value will be here after that branch l1 branch l1 when this particular statement is executed what happens it will go to the label l1 so what is the label l1 this one after that it will uh, <coughs> transfer the value of r0 into r2 
so this is a r2 register and the value get uh, transferred is 100 so you can see what is the meaning of this one what is the meaning of this one so the meaning of this one is nothing these code never get executed so this is a redundant code yeah so that's why uh, we have to remove it so optimized code will be uh, will contain this one this one and this one these particular parts of the code get eliminated second uh, <coughs> third one technique is the flow of control optimization flow of control uh, are those uh, statements which uh, change the flow sequential flow inside the programs right or not right so whenever you will move towards the flow of control statements uh, you can see uh, unnecessary jumps can be eliminated in the flow of control programs i have earlier told you let's uh, you can <coughs> move here i have written go to l1 right and uh, at the target at the particular label you have written go to l2 at the particular level l2 you have written go to l3 and at the label l3 you have written move a r not what happens <coughs> what happens inside between this the code is written right so i have put it down the dot 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 so unnecessary means you can see l1 whenever you will execute this statement it will move to you l1 after that this statement get executed it will move to you l2 after that this statement executed it will move to l3 and after that you will compute the value right or not right so instead of writing down so many jumps you can simply write down go to l3 and l3 will be move a comma r not right for this one after that <coughs> you have to write down uh, here so this particular l2 will also move towards the l so you will replace l1 l2 by the l3 right l2 go to l3 right so <coughs> what happens you will replace unnecessary jump so what is the unnecessary jump here you will directly move to L3, right? So L1 and L2 are the unnecessary jumps. So that's why you have to remove it by the L3 or replace it by the L3. So in the single pass, this code will appears this one, looks like this one, right or not right? After that, what happens? If you are at go to L3, then you will directly move here. So this particular portion of the code never get executed. So uh, you have to remove it because it is redundant so in first pass you can see in first pass you will replace the unnecessary uh, jumps and in second pass you have to remove the redundant code means unreachable code or you can say uh, the code that never get executed so i have earlier told you people optimization provide the better results when uh, it perform the multiple passes right or not right multiple times it will scan the programs pass means complete scan of a source program or a target program next <coughs> technique is the algebraic simplification right so basically algebraic uh, <coughs> expressions are those expressions which uh, contain some mathematical operators so simplification means you have to remove unnecessary or written inefficient operations over the uh, yeah, in, or you can say inside the algebraic expressions for example i have written here a is equals to a plus zero what is the answer it will always a after that i have written a is equals to a multiply one uh, uh, one so what is the answer it is always a i have written a mul uh, divide by a a is equals to a divide by one so the answer will be a and after that i have removed the zero from a or subtract the zero from a then what is the answer a so you can see here the value of a never 
changed when you will perform the particular operation with particular value so <coughs> algebraic expressions that are useless or written inefficiently are transformed into the efficient one so you can directly use a efficient one right instead of writing down these expressions right or not right so all these above uh, expressions can be eliminated because by executing these expressions the results of a would not change second algebraic simplification is the strength reduction right or not right strength means uh, uh, power so you have to re reduce the power of operator then uh, <coughs> Uh, the computation's time get uh, redu uh, re reduced, right or not right, or optimized. Basically, if you, uh, I can say you, you will perform the multiply, or you can write a multiplication inside your program. What happens? Basically, this multiplication in uh, architectural point of view, hardware point of view, is performed by the shift and after that addition right after that addition right if you are uh, 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 aware of the computer hardware then how can we perform the uh, multiplication over the binary numbers so it will be performed firstly we will shift the <coughs> first number binary number and uh, after that perform the addition so you will replace it by the plus operator then we can say uh, this particular phenomena is strength reduction so more powerful operator uh, uh, <coughs> reduced by or replaced by a uh, uh, less powerful operator then such phenomenon is called uh, strength reduction for example you can see i have written a is equal to x power 2 so this power operator is more powerful so you will replace it by multiply operator then you can say <coughs> uh, this particular uh, power replacement to the multiply is uh, called the strength reduction so here you can see if you will replace this a is equals to x multiply x then uh, this is a strength reduction once again if you will replace this multiply by the plus so x plus x plus x plus x times then this is called the uh, strength reduction from uh, multiplication to the addition similarly uh, you can also replace b is equals to by by 8 right by shift operator so shift operator uh, basically is less powerful as compared to the division so how can you replace it by the shift operator basically one right shift in a binary number provide a number divided by 2 so if you will perform divide by 8 so how many shift will be required so you will require three shift so by is shifted by three then you will get the value equivalent to the b is equals to by divided by eight right or not right last uh, one is the machine idioms so what is the machine idioms uh, basically we can uh, take the advantage of architectural techniques inside the <coughs> machine code or the assembly code then uh, such type of uh, things is called the machine idioms so it is the process of using powerful cpu instructions means uh, you will use the uh, immediate instructions uh, that uh, directly executed over the cpu for example uh, we can say auto in, in uh, increment and decrement features can be used to increment and decrement variables i have illustrated here suppose i have written a is equals to a plus one right 
सो यू हैव टू एड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए बाई वन राइट और नॉट राइट इन सी यू हैव टू यूज ए प्लस 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 ए राइट सो बेसिकली यू हैव टेक द एडवांटेज ऑफ द आर्किटेक्चरल टेक्निक्स टू परफॉर्म द इंक्रीमेंट सो इन स्टेड ऑफ परफॉर्मिंग एडिशन यू विल डायरेक्टली परफॉर्म द एडिशन इन असेंबली कोड और द मशीन कोड देर आर टू इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई द सीपीयू फर्स्ट वन इज द आई एन सी सेकेंड वन इज द डीई सी आई एन सी मीन्स इंक्रीमेंट डीई सी मीन्स डिक्रीमेंट राइट आई एन सी मीन्स इंक्रीमेंट एंड डीई सी मीन्स डिक्रीमेंट सो यू यू कैन सी हियर सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू एड वन इन साइड द वैल्यू ऑफ आर सो इन स्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग डाउन एड आर स्लेस कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू वन यू विल राइट डाउन डायरेक्टली आई एन सी आर इंक्रीमेंट आर सिमिलरली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सबस्ट्रेक्ट द वैल्यू वन सबस्ट्रेक्ट द वैल्यू वन वन वैल्यू फ्रॉम द वैल्यू इन साइड द आर यू विल डायरेक्टली यूज द डीई सी आर so these are the machine idioms te uh, techniques uh, that uh, provide the faster execution basically these instructions are directly executed by the cpu that's why these are the faster so op means it will produce the faster code basically these are the references of seti and ulman uh, a dragon book of a compiler uh, so you have to refer it another book is the J jkps yadav and r ranjan compiler design that is published inside the bio education india 2012 <coughs> thank you